Hello everyone, my name is CJ, and normally I use this YouTube channel to do a lot of um, music uploads that I do, and it's a little bit of video production, but this time around I finally decided to partake in something called Loot Crate. Now, if you don't know what Loot Crate is, essentially, every month this awesome company sends you a box in the mail that's filled with all kinds of nerdy and geeky, you know, action figures and uh, buttons, magnets, t-shirts, anything that's around a central theme of the month. Now, I've never done Loot Crate before, but I've seen the YouTube videos of the unboxing and I've seen people post pictures with the different stuff that they get, and it just looks like so much fun, I really wanted to be a part of it. All I ever get in the mail are bills, and I want something fun. So, the theme this month with Loot Crate is battle. I have my Loot Crate right here, and we're going to go ahead and open it. Now first thing it says is this crate is designed differently than any other crate before. Read the first page of the magazine to see how. Now I've never had another crate before, so I don't really know what to expect. So open this up. All right. All right. Um, well, it says read the first page of the magazine. Where's the magazine here? Um, okay. The magazine is buried all the way at the bottom. Go figure. So this is the November 2014 issue 16 battle theme. Um, I don't know if you can see that, it's probably blurry. This is the battle theme Loot Crate magazine that comes with it every month. Generally they send a magazine that's got um, lots of things, uh, pictures of people uh, wearing or having previous Loot Crate type things and uh, upcoming news for new things that are coming out. and. It looks like a uh, little stand-up figures. Uh, we have Mega Man, Street Fighter character little things here. Those are pretty cool. I'm not entirely sure what they're for yet, but um, I'll have to look through that and figure out more. Now, it says this one's different. Oh, okay, this just answered my own question. It says um, Battle Crate Instructions. This crate was designed with the intent of taking photos of your own epic battles. Oh, okay, so this box, and we'll get to this afterward, this box on the inside, it unfolds, little flaps come down, and there are places, I guess, for you to place um, some of these little fighters in there and create your own battle scenes inside this box. That is really cool. And they do a lot of cool stuff with the box if you've never seen them before. The inside of this box looks pretty cool, and as we get everything out, we'll get the opportunity to look at it more in depth. <clears throat> so I'm going to set this to the side and see what we have here. Now, first thing that's rolled up right here, we have a t-shirt, and this is a cool t-shirt. This is the coolest shirt. Okay, let me move this box. So this shirt is playing off of the Pirates vs. Ninjas, as you can see. It's the, the actual design on the shirt is made up of half of a pirate, half of a ninja, you can see the swords, and all of the writing on here is different sayings that pirates and ninjas would have. I don't really know what ninjas say. And this is really cool. This is a really cool shirt. <clears throat> now, I don't know where you stand on the pirates versus ninjas debate, but we will leave that there. I'll set this aside. This is a really cool shirt. As soon as I iron it, I'd like to wear this. I might even wear this today. <clears throat> all right, next thing we have here, Looks like we have a Halo <clears throat> Lego figurine, some sort of a Lego put together thing. Let's see, a super posable micro action figure. Okay, comes in this little pod. And uh, <clears throat> you know what? We can probably just open it up and have a look. Why am I failing? How do I open it? I don't want to break it. Oh, here we go. All right. So this is pretty cool. It's got a little uh, a little Lego brick that's got the Halo symbol on it, which you probably can't see. But okay. And a little super posable Halo action figure. Um, oh, with little tiny uh, weapons. Oh, this is a backpack that goes on them. And a little tiny, you probably can't see it, a little tiny pistol that goes with this awesome little... Um, he looks like Master Chief, but he kind of has the teeth around his helmet like uh, the Red Power Ranger did. Even so, that is really cool. Oh wait! 
It's not Lego. I fail. It's Mega Bloks. <clears throat> and we know that those are not the same. So I'm going to set this to the side. And, well, I got a couple more things in here. So what is... <laughs> okay. Um, I think I know what this is. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. We're going to open it and find out. Anyway, this is a Street Fighter headband. If you are not familiar with Street Fighter, I'm sorry for your childhood. So this is a headband like Ryu wears. Now it doesn't say Ryu on it, it just says Street Fighter and Capcom, as you can see. Capcom. But this is the headband that Ryu wears in Street Fighter. I'm going to put this thing on. I'm going to leave my house today and people are going to be so confused as to what is going on. Okay, I'm really excited. This is really cool. Um, this is a Mega Man mini helmet replica. Now it looks like there are four possible colors you can get. There's Mega Man, there's blue, gray, green, red. And I got red. Actually, wow, this is really cool. I was thinking it was gonna be like a cheaply made plastic, but this is certainly not cheaply made plastic. This is, um, this is pretty solid. Um, whatever it's made out of, I'm not entirely sure, it doesn't say. That is really cool. Oh, and it comes with a stand. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, the first thing to add to the collection of things on my desk at work. Put the little stand together here. And the helmet goes up on the stand. Which direction does it go? Probably this way? Maybe? Maybe not? Shoot, I don't know. How does it fit in there? We're not going to talk about how long it took me to get this helmet on the little stand. Anyway, this is pretty cool. As you can see, the little Mega Man helmet, it goes on this cool little stand. You can put it on your desk, put it on, I don't know, in the bathroom. You can put it really wherever you want to uh, put it. I think it's sweet. Probably going to put it on my desk at work. Show off a little nerdiness while I'm, you know, getting the job done. I'm put it a little closer. You can see it. I don't know. Maybe out of focus. I don't know. And of course, every month they send a button. This is the November 2014 battle button. It's got Mega Man fighting Ryu here on the front, which is kind of pr pretty cool. And uh, I don't really wear buttons, but you know, it's a button. I can do whatever I want with it. Okay, so there's a couple more things in here. Um, digital download stuff. It looks like Mega Man comics. That's pretty cool. Street Fighter 4 Arcade. Oh, what? So apparently. I got the full game of Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition for Steam, which is awesome. And uh, I am look forward to activating that code and playing that. And then Lichdom Battle Mage, uh, I'm not a huge fan of games like that, but my brother is, so I'll probably end up giving the code to him. And a nice little thing here asking which side are you? Are you pirate? Are you ninja? The lifelong question everyone needs to know. This can literally decide who your friends are. Even so, this is cool. It's got little hashtags. You can tweet a photo of you in the shirt to Loot Crate and uh, with the hashtag Loot Pirate or Loot Ninja to let people know which side you're a part of, which of course there's only one side, but we won't get into that. And last thing that's in here is, oh cool, okay. So this is a coin for Assassin's Creed Unity. This is a really cool coin. That's legit. <laughs> That's really cool. So as you see on the front, there's a little Assassin's Creed symbol here. And on the back, Assassin's Creed Unity with some, I don't know, Latin, French. I have no idea. I don't speak any of them. But that's pretty cool. Nice little coin comes in a little red uh, carrying bag. This says, oh, it says Assassin's Creed Unity on it. It was face down in the box. I thought it was just a red bag. Either way, it's still pretty sweet. So last but not least here is the box itself. And this box is really cool. I'm trying to figure out how you set it up. Oh, you're supposed to cut this lip off. And inside the box, there are little things uh, pop out, like uh, little props here. Oh, whoops, I don't know what that is. Let's pop these little props out carefully. Careful! There we go. Wait, what is that supposed to be? Oh. Oh, that's nifty. 
I can't get it to stay. That is really cool. It's a little fighting uh, thing here. I wish that would stay down. It's kind of bugging me. Probably put tape or something on there and keep it held down. It's supposed to look like this. I don't know. You can kind of see. Box turns a little battle arena and you can set up. Um, where did I put these little guys? Either beating up on or getting beat up on by each other, Mega Man or Ryu, fighting it out in this nice little street alley. That's really cool. And, uh, I'm in my kitchen. I have no idea what the sound was. Well, if I die, the last thing I did was open a loot crate, so I mean, there's that. So, all in all, um, that was really, really fun. This is really cool, Loot Crate. If you've never been a part of it, it is a really, really cool little organization. Um, it's a little under $20 a month, but you get, I mean, well around probably 50 or more dollars worth of stuff in the box. And they're just cool little, you know, themed things, uh, video game. This, in this instance, it was a lot of video game stuff, which is cool. And uh, I'm trying to figure out, I thought the magazine normally showed you, okay, here we go. So every month there's also, let me move this other way, there's also a Mega Crate winner, which is someone who wins just like stupid amounts of stuff uh, through it. And these are, oh man, so they won some really cool things. Uh, looks like they won like a, a Wii U, uh, Nintendo DS, all kinds of things. Uh, headset, wait. The Mega Crate winner got a DX Racer chair, so if that tells you anything, uh, they are not messing around when it comes to sending this stuff out. Well, if you've never been a part, it's an awesome... What's in my house? If you've never been a part before, it's a really, really awesome thing to be a part of. I'll leave a link in the description to Loot Crate, the website, so you can go and check it out. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. Uh, it's a lot of fun uh, to just know every month, no matter how old you are, to get a little bit of your nostalgic childhood back in a box from Loot Crate. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate uh, you spending time with me and look forward to more videos in the future because I intend to keep my subscription with Loot Crate going and uh, I'll see you then.